Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. For today's laser tip, we're going to be taking a look at a really popular use of lasers, which are 3D maps. Now these can be cut out of multiple layers of MDF that have been spray painted. You could use acrylic, all types of different materials, and create some really stunning artwork. So let's go ahead and get started. So we've opened our file in Illustrator, and you can see that uh, the designers put all the different layers here so we can see how many pieces of wood we need and uh, see the different colors they had in mind for it. So the first thing to do is to resize it. Uh, I know my MDF boards that I bought that were 20 by 12 inches, some of them are closer to about 11.75 by 19.75. So I'm just gonna resize these real quick down to 11.5 inches. Now with that done, all I have to do is select each of the filled layers and I'm going to come into my appearance area, choose my stroke of red, and I'm going to give that a pretty big stroke of two points just to make sure I can see it against this gray background. And my fill, I'm going to change to transparent. Okay, we're all set. So let me go ahead and drag my first layer that I want to do. We'll do a fun one. So it's got the uh, engraving and cutting on it. Let's put that on the page. And I'll print that over the laser dashboard. So I've got my epilogue engraver selected. So I'll just go ahead and hit print. And when that comes in, I can make sure with the camera that's all going to fit on the page. That's good. And it separated it out into two colors, the black and the red. So the black we're going to engrave, so I'll import my material settings. Now we're using a Fusion Edge 60 watt here. Uh, this can be done with any of our systems, though. So I'll import that and come down and just do my photo engraving. Or actually, I'll do clip art text. 300 dots per inch. And I'm going to actually take that up to 400 because there's a lot of smaller uh, names and words on here as well as the streets. And I'll set an engraving direction bottom top. And then for the red layer, I'm going to switch over to vector and tell it to cut 1 8 inch thick, 3 millimeters. Import that. And go ahead and print that to the laser when we're ready to run it. So another thing to do in advance is to pick out your spray paint. Uh, I like to use MTN 94. Uh, it's a great spray paint for MDF. It works really well. You don't need to sand the wood first and uh, it just gets a nice even coverage on that first pass. So if you come down, you can actually see these are on Spray Planet is where I get it. Uh, there's all kinds of different colors here. We're gonna go into the blues though for the water and I can actually just pick the first five blues in order, and then I'll have that nice variation. 
with just a little bit of difference. So once I get those in, then I'll be ready to start spray painting. So now we have a really beautiful 3D map we've created with the laser. The engraving came out really nicely. Uh, the different colors on the water just really make this piece pop. You could finish this off by putting it inside of a shadow box, hang it on the wall, have a really beautiful display piece. So thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions, check us out at epiloglaser.com. And be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can see the latest videos.